What's up, you guys? So I'm here at San Diego Regional with my boy Zach Stone. And what did you do? Uh, I won the San Diego Regional. You won the San Diego Regional. What deck did you win it with? Uh, I've been playing the same thing since Wesley Santa Heim. If you guys see Johnny's video, I've been playing Medical Yang Zing. Awesome. And you still think the deck's good? Uh, Underrated? I really think it's the best deck because it has such a high ceiling. Like, the plays are definitely remarkable. And it takes, like, a really, like, creative mind to execute it quite right awesome. well. All right. Well, let's see what you're in, man. All right, man. Of course, of course, Terra Top, Auto Top with the Take Tom Borg and the Red Eye Dice. Yep. Uh, pretty much standard. Everyone's been playing this now. Um, Metaphors were just three stealing. Three full of red. Uh, still gold, two gold driver, one gold flame, and the uh, archer eccentric. Uh, he's pretty much a good utility card, but other than that, level three is really important to help make Dang Long. It's almost like the same exact list I've topped the uh, event. Yeah. <laughs> three Jiao Tzu, three Chi Wen, three BN, the most important level. Only two Suwani and one Big C. Uh, just kind of want an even ratio. Uh, along with three Safranu and one Zephraxi. That kind of finishes up all the monsters. Uh, spells are only three. Uh, one Kings in Path, one Painful Decision, and one Oracle. The only difference between the list I played uh, in Anaheim and the list I played today was literally just the Upstar Goblin. Uh, I'll show you what I placed for in a minute. Uh, still double combination. Uh, no other Metaphos spell or traps because it's the only one that's important to us. Uh, 390 Pillars of the Ying Zing. This card's the barrier. This card's the game. And uh, over the Upstar Goblin, I decided to play one Ying Zing creation. A buddy of mine was actually playing it like beforehand and had like a lot of success with it. And he kept like you know preaching to me, I should play it. You know, it's really good. And I took his advice, and I kind of like it. It gives uh, the deck a lot more uh, a lot more place to make on your opponent's turn. Uh, the only downside is you can only use synchro monsters. You only special on synchro monsters reaction deck when they face up. But Boxy can destroy your cards and summon anything else from your grave, so that's really never a problem. Yeah, it was really good all day. I liked it a lot. Awesome. Yeah, still 40 cards. I don't know why people play one to 40 in this deck. It's like it's a uh, it's, it's a combo. Need, yeah, it's combo. It needs to have really good consistency. Uh, go with the extra deck. Play Nirvana High Paladin. Uh, he's pretty much there for like the, the side deck combo when you go uh, when you go first. Uh, Chao Fang. It's like soft swaps. It's really good. Um, if you make him with the Big C, you can stop his own from playing the game. Uh, one Ignister. Uh, I still felt like he was really good non-targeting removal. Uh, a lot of pendulum mechanic. Uh, you have a good pendulum mechanic, and it's really strong against Metaphos, destroying their stuff. Uh, aside from Omega, this card's like really good. Like if I stick him on the board for at least a turn or two, I'm more than likely gonna win the game just by him alone. Like he generates a lot of advantage and he just creates so many plays that I probably wouldn't even have before without him. Uh, still three box yet because it's like it's really important. Uh, spinning your opponent's cards is like how you like go for OTKs and it's just like the best uh, best synchro monster in here. I think it's actually a little bit better than Dang Long. Um, one Yazi, uh, I never felt felt like two is really like right. Uh, and you still have to play one for the combo with the speed droid. Uh, three dang long. People say three is uh, not necessary. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's correct because you uh, you need to be uh, be able to go through dang long as kind of like ignorant as possible because this will let you win the game. Uh, like fight out, it just creates so much advantage by himself. He's like the best card, like one of the best cards, and the reason why the deck is able to be played the way it is today. So. I still play Chanbara, uh, OTKs for days. Uh, I summoned this actually more than I ever did uh, any time. So yeah, it was really good today. Herald of Arclight, and summon this once. Uh, I never really needed the last negate. Most of my opponents were already realizing that they just can't fight through it, so I don't need to summon this and you know realize they're doomed. Uh, only two exceeds, uh, number 38, and Breaksword. Uh, pretty much the only ones you want to make because this just pretty much ends your uh, Ends your board with the uh, three negates, and then this is really good when you play the because you play the take tom board, it lets you uh, just pop problem cards like pop floodgates and it gets himself off the board for down two. And the side deck, uh, it's sort of similar. It's what I would have played at Anaheim if I had like some of the cards available, but for the most part, it's still too humongous and too maxies. Um, well, again, there's a lot of problematic uh, floodgate monsters that you have to get rid of. Uh, Blue eyes is the hardest matchup, so we have to side kaiju's, and that's why we chose level seven. And also. So uh, you can pendulum summon this at worst case. Maxi is just really good against either mirror matches or mermills or anything that kind of has a combo related to theirs. So we'll go side game, of course. Uh, one of the cards that I wish I uh, wish I had for Anaheim, uh, anti magic arrows. It's pretty much like a quick play cold wave. Uh, you have to play at the start of the battle phase, but you, you're running, the, card, the cards cannot be responded to this card's effect. And then for the rest of that turn, neither uh, player can activate.
activate spell or traps uh, till the end of the turn. So you pretty much activate this in the battle phase. If you need to get Jutsu, you can crash your egg zings, and you pretty much spin all their cards for free. Uh, still two twin twister. Uh, sometimes you gotta like, out something that's already established. Uh, this doesn't beat anti spell. This does, so that's why we have to play the twins. Uh, two book of eclipse. I felt like it's kind of necessary to play something that doesn't necessarily destroy, like Kieran being a reason. Uh, other than that, at worst they can protect you from dying. Uh, two Dark Holes. I didn't send Regeki because uh, Dark Hole can actually help you on Brick by summoning other uh, Yang Zings that you need to tutor out, like maybe getting a Jiaoxia for the Sewer for game. Uh, this should have been a raw sphere mode, but it's literally only for the mirror match because I just want an edge. Like right. I want something that just lets me have a like you know like an additional extender. I had a time ever thought what you thought about main decking the soul charge. Is it just uh, not? Is I, it not necessary? I've definitely tested it a lot, and I have to say that this card is just not that good in the deck because it can leave more brick set brick hands than not. Uh, it's not a Yang Zing card, so you can't discard it. And sometimes you're not even able to put like two good monsters in the graveyard to actually have a good soul charge play. So I don't really think it's that necessary to main deck it. So then this is pretty much only when I go first, I just try to be interested in every slot. Uh, if you guys already know, I add this deck to my hand, and my opponent starts with two cards. Awesome. All right, man. Well, congratulations. Anything else you want to say? Anything you change about the deck? Any advice to anyone that's picking up the deck? Uh, well, any advice to anyone picking up the deck, get rid of it soon. Zodiac Beasts are coming out. That's definitely going to change the meta. Um, other than that, I guess I got some shout-outs. Uh, shout-out to Alex and Kamau, the ones that helped me out, pretty much got me here. Uh, shout-out to Team Ryan's car, all the boys down there that at home. Uh, shout-out to Judge Ryan, definitely is uh, one of the best judges here in SoCal. Definitely travels to a lot of events. Shout-out to Slim, yeah, that deck profile. No and anybody I missed, man, definitely not missing out on you guys. Well, congratulations on your win, man. Right.